recently opened its doors in Hartford, but it's not just all about coffee. It's also creating spaces for communities of color in the capital city. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal is taking us inside. Whether you prefer your coffee hot or iced, Simia Cafe and Studio is one of the newest places you can grab your morning cup of joe in Hartford. They have one of the best cafe coleches around. The coconut lattes are also a hit. Simia Cafe opened up on Main Street just a few weeks ago. It's been just a really beautiful ride, you know, everyone loves the space. Elijah Hilleman has always been passionate about coffee. He and his business partner wanted to increase diversity in the coffee industry. So they created this new neighborhood living room celebrating black and brown cultures through coffee. Young, talented, black, brown, queer people will leave the city to go to like New York or Boston, but it's simply because there's not given enough resources to like create here. And that's where the studio aspect also comes into play. Inside the hybrid cafe, you'll find a pop-up event space featuring records, a DJ booth, and clothing. As Hartford continues to grow, uh, we need to keep in mind and like center black spaces, black, black and brown people. And it's something those who live in the capital city are happy to see. There's just something so beautiful about seeing people that you love follow their dreams and then create a space that gives back, you know, gives back to the community and to people. It's like showing a lot of people that grew up here that they can actually start the businesses here themselves, that we don't have to have big companies to come in here and run it, that they can do it themselves. And it's real nice and I think people are drawn to that. And going forward, the black owned business will continue hosting events with DJs and music so people can gather in a special space and connect through coffee. And Samia Cafe will be hosting its ribbon cutting ceremony tomorrow at 12 p.m. Reporting in Hartford, Aya Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Looks like a great place.